Hey folks, how we doing? Got a couple new, not new things, just a couple finished. I had some fun with the Kylex today. Uh, played around with the kind of Kylie CKC style sheet. I wanted to give it a try. I love how the thumb ram works. Only thing, my only my grudge is that I don't have the because if you want to do this, I don't have the rivets all around the way I like, you know, pair them up. But uh, it's gonna work out nice, and the drum is really nice. I like that. Ka Kylie is really talented with that. I don't even know if I got it the right. Didn't really watch his videos, just doing it kind of of memory. How I remember seeing him do his shit. I like it. It's really nice. Only like I said, I wish I would have one more rivet here, but it would be like all different weird. But nice, really nice working with the, this thumb ram. Uh, it's kind of similar here, but this one came out a little different for uh, for my father's knife. Again, this one, because of how it came out, I don't have the pair on top, but I'm sure my father won't, won't mind. Then I have a little sheet for uh, Roman Legionnaire for the Reno's Damascus neck knife in uh, blood red. Again, came out really nice. These are pretty. It takes the Kylex nice. This sheet is like for this big hole. You can get some really nice Kylex because you grab it right there, and it has a good retention thanks to that also. So that's that's pretty cool. And uh, again for Roman Legionnaire for his knife, for this one you've seen yesterday, but I finished it completely today. Got a really nice jimping here. Really nice jimping. I engrave 154 cm on one side, my signature on the other side. Everything else is the same, but the jimping is really nice again. Nice aggressive, not sharp like it is sharp, but not sharp that it would cut you. But nice aggressive that it will it will dig into your skin nice. And the sheet, he wanted some nice leather strap, so this is what I did. Leather strap and the ferro ferro rod. Ferro rod here for uh, three eighths, I think it is. Yeah, three eighths ferro rod, and then you have a dangler here, and also if you want, you can also put them down or put down the one, because the ba the top one holds this this one in place. But it's also fixable if you don't want them. I figure I like it the combination of horizontal and vertical. Very nice and stiff on the belt, on the dangler, and uh, get nice retention, nice ramp. Drain hole, everything. I think you're gonna like this one because it's. I like it. It's pretty sweet package. I like how that orange goes with the black. Again, I'm not the leather master. I I didn't do no burnishing or anything. It's really raw, but it's a nice thick leather that will last a long time if you take care of that. And uh, one more thing I did today. I started off on cutlery lovers knife. Put the grind on, sharpened it, polished the blade, and uh, I don't know if tomorrow or someday, very soon, we're gonna get the scales. We have a pretty nice idea for the scales with Jeff. So let's see. Again, you see, I shouldn't even touch that with my hand like that. You see, pretty nice mirror polish. Again, you see those tiny grind line, grind marks there. If you look close. You see them there, but that's just like that's so minimal. I would have to spend so many hours to get rid of them and have all different crazy. I would definitely need better belts and for that with different bel uh, belts to go really full full mirror polish. But I think it's pretty decent. Oh, the light is messing up the whole camera. Pretty sweet knife. Not my type completely with that spike and the false wedge. The false wedge is so hard to do. But it's almost done. The main part is done now. The handle. All right. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh, one more thing I want to show you. I got myself a new toy. Check it out, guys. <laughs> How sweet is that? UTG sniper rifle. Really sweet stuff. Full metal barrel. Three to nine optics on top. Cheap, but very nice. So the 
pipe out there. It's really fun to shoot. You have the bolt action here, adjustable stock and stuff. I think it's called UTG AccuSharp sniper rifle, and uh, that's definitely a really nice wall piece for me. I'm not even a, I'm not an airsoft guy, but it just it looks so badass, really nice. So hope you enjoyed, guys. I have one more here just to show it to. It's coming out tomorrow, man. Another knife that is sold, this one with all the green Kyrex sheet. Really nice retention. Again, this can double as a loop for the paracord and also the linear hole, uh, the drain hole. And if you really want to, this can be actually molded into the ferro, small ferro holder. So, that's my shit. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.